Uh, I really want to add a pen with a flex nib to my collection. What are the biggest differences between the Noodler's pen models? Um, yeah, I'm happy to give a rundown there. I'm just going to touch on them a little bit because um, there's really th four main models. <laughs> I almost said three, but there's four. Um, so we have the Nib Creeper, which is um, the little guy. And uh, this is the first one that they came out with. It's a very thin pen, has the lowest ink capacity of all of them, but it's a piston filler and it's just over 16 bucks. So it's really affordable and it has a rather small, it's like a number two size flex nib. Um, it's a great pen for just starting out, getting interested in it, especially I think, um, you know, those with smaller hands like these pens a little bit more. It doesn't have a huge ink capacity. It's about a one milliliter, which is okay, but with a flex nib, you're gonna consume ink a little faster. It's got a variety of different colors, including this clear one, which I, I prefer the clear because you can see what's going on inside. Um, and it's got a very, very durable resin material. It's like a vegetal resin, which has a very distinct Noodler's smell to it. People talk about the Noodler's pen smell. That's the vegetal resin there. Um, what's cool about that resin is it's extremely shock resistant. So it does kind of like mar and scratch and stuff like that because it's slightly softer, but it's also more resilient. So you can you can literally like practically drive cars over it and shut it in your door and stuff like that. And it's gonna it's got a lot of pliability to it. So it's gonna be very durable. So it's a great knock around flex pen um, in that thinner style and it's the most affordable. Next up from there, um, we come up with the Ahab. The Ahab is my personal favorite of the Noodler's flex pens. It's a larger pen, so for me, it's a little more comfortable. I find that having the leverage of a larger pen helps. Um, you're looking around $23 for this one. Um, and it's a bigger pen too, so you have a bigger ink capacity, the nib is bigger. So for me, I feel I can get a little more leverage. It feels, it feels a little easier to flex to me, even though you can actually get the same line variation um, with the Nib Creeper. It just feels a little easier to get that to me with this one. It has a piston style um, mechanism inside that you can actually unscrew and remove, and then you can convert the pen to an eyedropper. So you get you know, upwards of two milliliters of ink with the piston in here. And then when you have, um, it's already got an O-ring on here. You just put a little bit of silicone grease on the threads and you can get up to six milliliters of ink in here, which is just crazy. Like that's so much ink. Um, so that's why some of the more diehard uh, users like to use the Ahab because you can get just such a ridiculous ink capacity on that. Tons of different colors. Um, next up from there, we have the Conrad, which is the most confusing of the bunch because there's the most variety. So there's a vegetal resin Conrad, which is the same material as the Ahabs and the Nib Creepers, um, which is fine. And you're looking around 20 bucks for that. Um, and that has a piston mechanism in it as well um, with a blind cap. So it has, oh, this is one of the busted ones that I had. We had an issue for a while with, there we go. Um, some of the threads were weak there in the beginning and this is apparently is one of those. Um, but anyway, it has a it has a removable piston um, that you can unscrew out of the back, and you can maintain the O-rings and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't require any tools to remove that. Um, it's got around a milliliter and a half ink capacity. Same nib as what's on the Ahab. Um, so if you like that number six size nib, oh, you can swap the nibs out too on the Ahab. That was one of the benefits too. I forgot about. Um, you can fit a number six size nib on there. Noodlers has some. We have Goulet and other brands that you can use on there. Whew. Um. What else? What else is going on with this pen? So, you know, originally Nathan designed these to have really swappable nibs. Was running into some flow issues and things that were kind of, you know, less than desirable on the Conrad. So we actually changed the design of the grip of the pen to really kind of just have a, feed, a, a seated fit for the Conrad nibs. Now it's kind of hit or miss as to whether you can fit a number six nib in there. So we don't really promote it now as being a universally kind of um, swappable nib for the Conrad. Um, but uh, there are some that will fit in there, but it's just not reliable enough for us to say that, uh, that you can do that. Um, and then the Conrad also has um, a acrylic resin version, which is more expensive. You're looking in the $40 range for these. All the same features and everything. It's slightly longer slightly longer, um, but the overall design is very similar, but it's got that deeper look to the material on it. Um, and then uh, similar to that is the 
ebonite. And there's been a variety of ebonites that have kind of come and gone as far as colors go. Um, but you got the same thing going on here. It's got an ink window and stuff like that. So that's really nice. Um, and uh, same number six nib, et cetera, et cetera, um, in the $40 range here. The line cap on the back all that same stuff there. So the Conrads have the most different things happening there with the widest range of prices. And then from there, and this is this is how it goes up in price and that's also how it's uh, how they've just been released actually. And then the big one is the uh, Nippon set, largest of the group. It also uses a number six size nib, but it's a different nib than all the other ones. It's a three-tined stub music flex. So it's this crazy nib. So it's a, it's, it's a very wide nib, very wet flow um, that flexes out with three tines. So kind of interesting. It's you got to love it or hate it kind of thing, you know, with this pen. It's uh, got the same uh, thing going on as the Ahab does. It's got that removable uh, convert uh, cartridge, not cartridge, removable piston. Uh, that you can also use for an eyedropper, huge ink capacity on this pen as well. Very, very wet writer. So it's a little more niche as far as who actually likes to use this thing. And then um, it's just not going to be for everybody. So and you're in the $75 price range. Um, but they are ebonite and they have acrylic versions too. So um, it's uh, it's an interesting pen for sure. Uh, but then the Ponzit's probably like the most polarizing of the bunch. And the last thing is what's kind of cool with both the Ponzit and the Ahab is this is a, a relatively newer concept that's come out, but Noodlers has their 308 re, uh, reloadable cartridge, which is kind of a, you know, uh, um, armory pun there. Um, but you can remove the piston and the breather tube, and then you can actually unscrew the cap here. You can fill this with ink and carry it around with you. And then you can actually screw that onto the back of the Ahab or the Neponset, the newer Neponsets anyway, the original Neponsets. Um, it just didn't quite have the clearance, but he uh, lengthened the interior of the Neponset. So newer Neponsets now uh, have the ability to use these cartridges. And they're super cheap cartridges too. We sell them in a five pack. It's very cheap. I think it's like 10 bucks or something. Um, and, uh, and there you go. So you can uh, carry around your ink with you. For those of you that want to carry around cartridges but don't like the ink capacity or having to change them out constantly, um, there you go. That's what you can have happen with that. And that's the full Noodlers lineup. So you get to choose which is your favorites. I like the Ahab for, for all of them, but really they, they all have their pros and cons, and I think they're pretty good.